All right, all right. Let's just we'll, we'll 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 get you a mop or a bucket, perhaps. If you have more to go, if you if you think you'd be more afraid tonight, we we'll get you a bucket. I'll have to go do a, an introduction to the show, though. Is my fly zipped? Oh, uh, here, let me help. Oh, thank you. There we go. All right, just a moment. Sorry about that. All right, just just a, just a moment, Mr. Fuchs. It's lovely to see you. Hello, all. Hello, hello. Hello. Cheerio. Thank you. Looking at all of you tonight, I think to myself, <laughs> I should, I'm no more sherry, exactly. Uh, I'm called Cecil, how are you this evening? I have been given the dubious honor of introducing tonight's festivities to celebrate the works of um, our good friend, <laughs> William Shakespeare. Uh, well, 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 we'll get it back in a moment. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. I did not start out as a director, of course. Like everyone else, I started out an actor, which means I started out a drunk, same as you. I remember vividly the first time I took a stage in a real show. It's fantastic. It was dreadful, truth be told. I stood backstage in a dreadful little theater with a dreadful little play, with a dreadful little part, losing my mind, becoming unbottled. And there was a, an older gentleman in the theater. He was, he was an old hand. He was past his salad days, we say. And um, he came to me. And I don't want to give away who he was, because as I said, he was past his prime. He was in his declining, reclining years, where he should have been at home. And he grabbed me by both shoulders. We should call him Sir William, for the argument's sake. And Sir William says to me, <clears throat> the mortal enemy is not in the theater. I had no idea what he was saying. No idea at all. And so I looked at him, I said, what do you mean? He says, <coughs> your foe is not in these hallowed, sacred places. Again, I had no idea what he was banging on about. And finally, with another third mighty snort, <coughs> he says to me, the people here is your friends. They come together to create something beautiful, a space where an actor can go and give his heart to everyone around him. And that's when I fell in love with the theater. I walked down the stage and I felt the magic of possibility. I could be anyone. I could become anyone. I could do anything. And to understand it, of course, I had to study the greats, like our friend in the piddle over there. I had to, I had to study him. And this is where we get into it. Will you grab that for me, please? Any, t any time now. You're afraid of a little pee? Yeah, I guess. Would you? I'm terribly sorry for the delay. Thank you. Thank you kindly. It is all wet. <laughs> now that you meant you were serious, I, no, I thought you was bluffing. But as I studied, I thought, I thought to myself, you read this text, this massive, drawling, rolling text, it goes on forever. And you think, this must be heaven sent. This must be uh, an angel grabbed his quill and moved it about. Or perhaps a fairy was jostling his elbow to make sure the words hit the page. Wasn't you? But it wasn't. He's a man. He's just a man, same as you, same as me. He's a man. And his words, well, the truth, I like to hold him up high, but he's a petty bureaucrat. He's a documentarian. At best, He's a map maker. He was outlining all of these corridors, the, the darkest ones, the lightest ones. They all exist in one place, the human heart, something we all understand. Tonight, in this sacred of circles, our performers are going to come to the stage and they're going to give you everything they have. Some of the words was going to come from this place. I have come to find that some of them will not. Many of them regrettably and possibly thankfully will not. Some of them will offend you. So a lot. Some of them will involve dropping a copy of William Shakespeare in her pee. But I think we should have some fun together if you're ready. Well then, without further ado, in proper style, lords and ladies, welcome to the Midsummer Stage. Woo! 